Hey everyone, I'm Dave from Polypad and I am excited to share with you our updates for March 2023. We have a number of tiles on Polypad that you can flip or negate and the color changes when that tile is flipped or negated. Now when you change the color of either side of the tile, if I change this to blue on one side and maybe green on the other, those colors will stay when I flip back and forth. So you can see this stays blue and green. If I change this purple to an orange and then hit negate and then change the color here to green, when I flip back and forth, those colors will persist. That feature is available for any tile that has the option to be flipped or negated when the colors change. Uh, a small update on our tabulation tools with dice and coins and spinners. I'm going to roll four dice. I'll click tabulate. I'll zoom out a little bit here. You can see I get a table of values that show me the numbers that I've rolled. And now when I roll the dice, the table starts in cumulative mode. So I'm getting a running tally of the numbers that I've rolled. You can see those numbers are increasing as I roll the dice. If I want to change that, I can head to the advanced menu in the table and change it from cumulative to replacement or time series. What's new here is that our default option on the table is cumulative. So if I delete this table and go to the coins and toss them and tabulate, I get a table of values of the heads and tails. And you can see when we talk again, those numbers will increase rather than being replaced every time. But I can go to the advanced menu and change this from cumulative to replace. And now when I toss the coins, I can get new values of what I flipped this time, five and three. Uh, another small update is the ability to play animation uh, or sounds of grouped tiles. So here you can see these polygons are not grouped together. Uh, I can select all of them and hit group in the action bar. So now when I move one, this entire uh, group moves along as I move the tiles around the canvas. And a new small update is I can play this group. So when I push play here, we'll hear and see the perimeter of each tile being played at the same time. And just like all of the music tools, I can change this from perimeter to area. I could change uh, the instrument that's played and they'll all play at the same time. There we go. I am going to clear the canvas, select all, hit delete, and show you all our final update is under the file tab. And it's a small update to the options for a canvas size. So by default, it's on an infinite canvas. We have a fixed size canvas where it starts as a 15 by 15 square. You can change the width and height of that as you like. What's new is in the notebook canvas, which acts as an infinite page that I can scroll down the page but not across, there's the new ability to change the width of this canvas. So right now it's 15 across. I can make it 10 or five or even wider if I want. So that ability to change the width of the notebook canvas. We have a whole video on how to use the notebook fixed size and infinite canvas options. I will put that link in the description of this video. So go check that out if you wanna learn more about using the options of canvas size. Those are the quick updates for March, 2023. Thanks for checking out this video.